हे ऑसम पीपल मेंबरशिप आर लाइव नाउ ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल गेट एक्सक्लूसिव कॉन्टेंट अर्ली एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज लाइव स्ट्रीम्स एंड मच मोर हिट दैट ज्वाइन बटन एंड बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ इनर सर्कल लेट्स ग्रो लर्न एंड क्रिएट टूगेदर हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ए जी मोशन डिजाइंस इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन लुपिंग एनिमेशन इन साइड ऑफ आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी प्लग इंस वी आर गोइंग टू गिव दिस एनिमेशन कलर्स ऑफ गूगल लोगो सो वी विल गेट सम गूगल एबस्ट्रैक्ट लोगो रिविल काइंड ऑफ अ फीलिंग ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट गूगल लोगो रिवील दैन डोंट फॉर गेट टू चेक आउट माई गूगल लोगो एनिमेशन सीरीज विच कवर्स एडवांस गूगल लोगो एनिमेशन टेक्निक्स विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई मोशन प्रो मेंबरशिप विच इज जस्ट फॉर फिफ्टी नाइन रुपीज You can hit that join button and become a Motion Pro member of this channel and support my hard work. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses as well. All the links are available in the description. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to so get more updates. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. <laughs> Okay so here we are in Adobe After Effects let's go to create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation just like we always do width is i'm going to choose 1920 and height we are going to choose 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit okay go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now i have this google png logo over here which we are going to use just for as a reference for our colors so i'm going to bring this over here and i'll lock this color just for now now as you guys know that we have four colors in our google logo so we need four uh, kind of a shapes over here so for that i'm going to select my ellipse tool first and go to the fill and select this black color first just for now and by holding shift i'm going to create this kind of a ellipse now let's select this ellipse and press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the ellipse options ellipse path over here go to the size options right click and choose convert to bezier path then go to the part and click on this keyframe over here then i am going to select my selection tool and i am going to select this portion and i'll simply hit delete then we are going to select this area go to the pen tool options and we are going to choose convert vertex tool and simply select this and let's try to move this properly over here you can hold shift as well or uh, simply click over here i think we don't need to use shift you can simply bring this over here as well similarly select this and try to bring this over here so with the help of that we are getting this kind of a half circle now let's minimize this and select this hit u and let's delete those keyframe we don't need that now select this and press y on your keyboard so we can select this pen behind tool and by holding control bring this at the bottom so the anchor point of this shape is at the bottom now let's select this and let's make this fit press v for selection tool by holding control d i'm going to move this over here and by holding control you can swap snap this properly similarly select this two hit control d let's bring them at the top by holding control snap this at the bottom so as you guys can see uh, we have this four shapes now right click new and create one null object select all of this and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's try to increase this in such a way that this thing should touch the bottom like this okay and now we are going to delete this let's make this value proper 130 or let's say 135 or something not on i think 133 is good enough and let's delete this now we don't need that now we need to create animation for this so let's select all of them press p for position to create one keyframe okay zoom in a little bit let's go to around 1 second create one keyframe go to around 10 frames create another keyframe in middle of that i'm going to bring them a little bit upward and then go to the start and let's try to bring them totally from here to here like this okay then select those keyframe and we are going to hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph zoom in a little bit uh, over here select this by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here then select this area 
by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like that zoom in select this portion over here by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here zoom out so now if you see this animation we are getting something like this now along with that there should be some rotation animation which is gonna act like a secondary animation so press r for rotation create one keyframe and let's make this a little bit uh, somewhere around like minus 10 okay create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this value uh, zero over here go somewhere around at this point let's make this value plus 10 go around over here let's make this value minus 10 go few frame forward let's make this value properly zero and press r so we can see only r keyframe select this and let's hit f9 so if you see this now we are getting something like this okay and hit u like that now i'm going to select all of this and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring them at the top go to over somewhere around over here two second hit u select all of them and delete their keyframes or instead of that delete those layers as well first thing first we need to give these layers a color so we will delete that uh, select this shape layer over here and go to the fill options uh, and with the help of this speaker i'm going to pick up this color select this layer go to the fill options with the help of this i'm going to pick up this color and hit ok select this go to the fill options pick up this yellow color select this go to the fill option with the help of this speaker we are going to pick up this color so now as you guys can see we are getting this animation now we are going to select this and hit ctrl d to bring them at the top and let's move this over here hit u and we are going to delete those keyframes we don't need that okay so this is going to be my reference layer so over here now hit u over here and now we need to adjust them one by one so let's try to do it okay uh, for that i'm going to select all of this and let's try to bring this downwards over here in such a way that it should get hided at this point okay like that now this animations over here which is this one it should be one by one so let's go to the 20 frame select this layer and move this over here go over here select this move this over here and go over here select this move this over here okay but i think i started from the wrong sequence so i think let's go over here first of all let's select this extra layers and change the color of this layers we will select the sixth layer with the help of open square bracket try to move this over here move this over here and move this last one over here so we are getting something like this so i know at four seconds i am getting my animation is at the end or somewhere around at this point my animation is at the end so now as i can say that this portion is my looping portion okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm going to simply right click new and create one null object i'm going to select all of these layers and i'll make it apparent with this null object then i'm going to select this null object and i'll press p for position to create one keyframe then i'm going to press ctrl r which is going to be my guideline and i'll bring one guideline over here like this now select this and i have already created one keyframe over here i'm gonna go at the start and i'm going to bring this position upward in such a way that it should touch this area over here so now if i see this i'm gonna get this animation like this okay and at this point if i hit n over here and if i see this animation i'm gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay so now my loop animation is ready i don't need this logo so let's delete this logo i'm going to select all of this stuff and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as animation 01 let's go inside this or simply right click in this work area and choose trim comp to work area then go to the main animation hit o to go at the end then over here right click go to the time and choose time enable remapping and before this last keyframe i am going to create one keyframe and i'll delete this last keyframe then alt click on the stopwatch and apply for loop out expression on it 
okay and deselect it then press f4 and make sure to enable this icon select this animation go to the align tab and choose align left select this hit ctrl d let's try to move this over here one by one okay like this you can hold ctrl hit ctrl d and try to adjust it properly like this okay over here or uh, instead of that you can simply select this and enable the snapping tool hit ctrl d and try to adjust it properly over here you can remove this guideline so it will properly snap at this point select all these three layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top and try to adjust it over here properly like this select this layer hit ctrl d let's try to adjust it over here like that then select all of them and try to bring them in the middle of this now over here hit u so we can see all the keyframes and i'm going to adjust them alternately like this okay over here this one should be over here this one should be over here this one should be over here and this one over here and this one over here now after that select all of them by hitting ctrl a and uh, this one is my last frame over here which is this one so try to move this such a way that this one should go at the star okay like this so now if i hit play to this animation as you guys can see we are gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop now after that there should be some motion blur to this animation but if you go inside this if you press f4 and enable the motion blur and if you go to over here uh, as you guys can see we are not getting anything over here uh, if you hit ctrl a and disable this portion so and now if you see this we are getting this uh, animation with the motion blur but there is one flaw over here uh, we can see some jittery effect over here so to avoid that what we are going to do we'll go inside this and we will disable this motion blur similarly i'm going to enable this option again and now simply right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply one effect on this uh, adjustment layer which is known as motion blur or pixel motion blur simply double click to apply and we are getting this kind of effect now over here go to the start hit page down button one time to go one frame forward and select this layer and with the help of open square bracket shift it over here same procedure go to the last we will hold alt close square bracket to trim up to this zoom in and trim this little bit one frame backward over here okay and now if you hit play it will still take a little bit time to load because it's going to add that motion blur to our animation but uh, we will get some less jittery effect specifically for this okay even though right now it's running uh, i mean running uh, we can see some motion blur which is quite uh, glitchy but once it's uh, rendering is done the animation will look a little bit uh, more improvised or you can say okay so as you guys can see this animation is taking few times to render like that but once it's render it will look a little bit awesome yeah so as you guys can see we are get can add this kind of motion blur okay to this animation and uh, if you are happy with this results as well uh, you can delete this portion as well if you are happy with this you can use this as well to make this animation a little bit more smoother what you can do you can simply hit ctrl k and over here you can choose 60 or 59.94 frames okay so as you guys can see the animation is looking a little bit more smoother and if you want to give this animation a little bit cartoonic look uh, you can do two things simply right click new and create one adjustment layer again and apply one effect called noise simply double click to apply this noise effect and you can apply add some noise uh, structure over here then after that apply another effect called posterize time you can double click to apply this and you can make this animation uh, 15 frames per second and now what will happen this animation will get some cartoonic kind of look over here like this okay yeah so this is how you can create this kind of animation